Hi there guys and welcome back to Amanda's World. So today I thought we could do some fun with color. And we're going to be using some eyeshadow palettes that I actually do not remember where I got from. But I will leave a link down below to Beauty Bay. And Beauty Bay is a site where you can buy makeup. And sometimes they have more affordable brands on there. And you can actually buy three eyeshadow palettes for actually for the same price as you would buy for one normally. Especially in Sephora example. Because it's really kind of expensive. And... Today, I would actually want to start to play with some of the eyeshadow palettes I haven't played with for a while. And this is one of them. And if any of you guys actually know where I got this and remember the name of the website, leave it in the comment down below and I will put it in the description because I literally do not remember. As so long time ago, I got this I think when my daughter, she was two years old and she's five now, so I don't remember. And it looks like this. It's supposed to look like a copy version of the Kat Von D palette she came out with. Uh, I think it was like the New Year's Eve kind of palette she came out with. And I just spilled eyeshadow all over my table. Alright, and we're back. So, if I'm done throwing eyeshadow everywhere, I think I want to show you guys the other palettes. And I got this one as well. It's supposed to be kind of more of a, what can I say, or more cheaper version of the Morphe palettes it came out with a, a long time ago, if I remember correctly. And these two palettes, they go together, is the matte one and the shimmer. <coughs> it's supposed to be kind of like a similar look, color version as the Morphe eyeshadow palettes. Uh, just in a cheaper kind of way. And we are going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette today for contouring and for highlighting. And for highlighter, for all over shine to the godness, we are going to be using my favorite baby, this one right here. All right, with that said, let's start. All right, you guys, so I am going to come a little bit closer so you guys can see what it is I'm doing. And everything is texting me and comments. Oh my God. It's funny, you always get so much love when you're doing something. All right, so we are gonna start with Seduce. That one right here. And before this, I did the 5 minute makeup challenge, you guys. So, this is why I have my base on. And I have a mirror, as you guys can see, right here in front of me. So I can actually see what I'm doing. And I am actually looking at making some contact lenses, you guys. I do use glasses. I do not have the best vision. Uh, always, especially not if things are far away, then I do not, I'm not always so good at seeing what is going on. So, I was thinking about getting some prescription contacts. Have any of you have prescription contacts? You can tell me about your experience down in the comments below. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. I have only used contacts for like for, for fun, for like Halloween or for clubbing and stuff like that. I haven't used it for actually what prescription needs. All right, so afterwards we are going to go in with Oak, this one right here. And I am using a Morphe M441 brush. And I need to clean my brushes, you guys. I always say this in every video. Every video I always say that I need to clean my brushes. But maybe I should actually do it this time. <laughs> always remember to clean your brushes, you guys. I'm just making jokes, you know. It can get you a hell of a lot of skin problems if you do not clean your brushes as you're supposed to. And I absolutely love the pigment in these eyeshadows because it was so affordable. 
Use palette. It's fun always, in my opinion, how you forget how some certain kind of eyeshadows work or eyeshadow palettes work when you haven't used them for a long time. And I got a new Snapchat, you guys. I will be posting pictures and small videos of my looks after I make them for my for my YouTube videos for you guys, and you could be able to see all my looks and all my after shots on there as well as you can see my videos here on YouTube. And I will be leaving my name to my Instagram and to my Facebook page and for my snapchat down in the description down below so you guys can go follow me on there and i will be posting my tiktok as well i'm not completely good at tiktok but i still do do some small things here and there so if you guys can follow me on all of my social media all right now we're looking extremely scary Now I was thinking hmm. I think we are gonna play around with the blue and take that one right here or maybe we should play around more with the vampire colors hmm. Yeah, we're gonna try velvet. We're gonna take velvet over here and work with velvet. And we're still using the same brush. And just blend it out into the crease, you guys. Take my other blender brush if I can find it. There it is. And this one is Morphe and Jackson Hill JH36 brush. And I'm just gonna start blending the eyeshadows to just apply it together. taking my under eye brush from Morphe E17 and we're going to take ochre again same one that we used before on the top part of our eye and smoke it out underneath our eye here I always do that I need to seriously get used to I need to look at you guys when I do this it's the same thing like you don't have nobody has a sexy mascara face like Nobody does. <laughs> we all have funny face expressions when we do some certain things. <laughs> all right, now everything is starting to look a lot better. 
yeah, not mad at that, not at all. And I am going to take velvet and smoke it out even more underneath our eye. And go in with the same handy dandy blender brush we had before and just smoke that out. All right. And now we are going to cut out something on our eye so we can apply some glitter moment here. And I am going to be using the NARS concealer, super tiny, and it's so good to just to cut out whatever you want. And yes, I will be using my handy dandy fingers to blend out this concealer here. go yeah already starting to look good all right so I was thinking we should play around with some silver and we're gonna just go straight for that one right there put my finger yeah and yeah I am going to take one of my loose eyeshadows I have and I'm going to be using this one and it's from Essence and it's from the Metallic Chrome eyeshadow. It's a little bit lighter than the one I just applied and it's so pigmented you guys and I absolutely love it. Look at the difference. It just made such a big difference already. All right, now we are going to take our under eye lift brush and blend together the shimmer and our other eyeshadow. And I'm going to take our blender brush and just kind of blend the eyeshadow out a bit more. Make it look a little bit more dramatic. There. far so good you guys what do you all think yeah and I am going to be applying eyeshadow eyeshadow oh my god mascara you guys mascara 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 if I could find my eyelash cream. I can never find it even though it's right in front of me handy dandy eyelash curler right here <laughs> and try to curl the lashes this time without poking myself in the eye. Yeah. Yeah. And we are going to be using the Better Than Sex mascara. And literally, I would agree with the name. So benefit you did good when you chose this name for this mascara. Like for real. And my eyelashes, you guys, have been getting so long lately. 
like the eyelash guards have been like giving me long natural eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that made a difference already. And I'm super excited for a couple of things that I just ordered and they will be coming soon for Halloween and for eyelashes. Because for Halloween, you need eyelashes to fit with a dramatic look, especially if we're using darker colors. Super sexy face over here with mascara face. All right. And we are going to be using the Essence Volume Style 18 Hours Hold Mascara on top of that because I absolutely love having long, long spider lashes. And it kind of fits the weather. I don't know how the weather is with you guys, but today in my country it's raining, it's cold, and it's gray. And I feel like all my neighbors are hiding underneath their blankets or they're hating the party, I have to go to work. So, and I'm just happy I work from home. Alrighty. So that was for the eyes. I think I wanted to do one more thing for the eyes. This eyeliner here, you guys. I don't know what happened, but I think I need to have a conversation with this one later on, but this eyeliner right here, or a pen eyeliner, it's from MAC and it has a really long story because my mom always used this when I was a child. And I absolutely love this now myself. And you guys can tell because it's so tiny. And here we go, let's see if this works better. Yeah. There's something about the MAC pencils. They work so well. And even though if you're like me and you have runny eyes and your eyes are sensitive, especially when you do liners like this, guys we have some green in there and I am going to be doing my brows off camera and I'll be right back you guys so now the brows are done that made a difference <laughs> if you ask me like yeah and if you guys want an in-depth brow tutorial let me know down in the comments below and I will do it for you guys and now we are okay now we are going to use the shade and light palette from Kat Von D to bring some more color into our face because I feel like the eyes are very hello, so the face needs to follow as well. So I am going to be using this one right here to put some more life back into our face and with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush JH06. And I do not remember if I already said this, but I did the five minute makeup challenge and it's going to be up before this video. So go check that out. And one of you guys have left a comment saying it was actually your idea and I did a shout out on you for you in that video. And the video should be up before this. So. Go check that out, you guys. I feel like it was an epic fail. Absolute epic fail. And I love this palette, you guys. It's so easy to blend out and it just bronzes you up and I feel like bronzed. Underneath the 
Alright, we're taking the lightest one in the middle. Just to brighten that up a little bit more. Alright. And now it is blush and we are taking the Model CO blush again and is Peach Berlin is the shade and I know that uh, NARS they have some blushes it's pretty much like this it's pretty much the same color and Juvia's Place does as well I have two of their blush palettes and I think I used it in one of my videos before and those are amazing and in one of them they actually do have a uh, bronzer contour kind of powder so you can actually just get that palette and you have everything in one and now for one of my favorite parts highlighter you guys and we're going to be using two brushes today and one of them is morphe m510 highlighter brush and the other one is real techniques fan brush and we are going to go in with makeup revolution highlighter palette and I'm gonna go into the kind of white highlighter and apply it on our nose oh my god you guys look at that it's so shiny pearls 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 yeah and we are going to take the other brush and just blend it out a little bit and I'm gonna take the same highlighter and put it all over the rest of her face. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. But shining to the gods is what we're gonna do when we're done here. Yes. And how do you guys like my new setup, by the way? I got a new setup, and I'm in the middle of making my beauty room, and. I will be doing a beauty room tour with video for you guys as soon as I'm done. And I hope that the light, you know, you guys can see the lighting changed and I feel like I can see everything I'm doing a lot better now and I hope you all can see what I'm doing. A lot now, <laughs> a lot more. And I'm going to be taking the kind of pinky one underneath and just to make it a little bit more dramatic. And my hair kind of started growing a lot. Like I'm surprised how fast my hair started growing. And all I actually did, I just used coconut oil on my hair after I got, come out of the shower I just saturated my entire head in coconut oil and I just let it be all right now we're shining to the gods and you all know I'm not done with highlighter so girl best friend diamond from makeup revolution as well and it doesn't say what is this one? It doesn't say exactly what shade, but yeah. What is the pink one? I know they have a green one, I think, and a purple one as well. If I think, if I remember correctly. All right, and just take our handy dandy powder brush. All right. And for lips, we are going to be using the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. And I'm just going to be applying this, you guys, and I'll be right back. We're going to be taking the brown one, Kat Von D liquid lipstick. And what is it from called? I cannot pronounce this, you guys. Not at all. I don't know not know if I can say this right. But it's this one. And if you guys know what shade it is, 
leave it in the comments down below. I'm so bad at pronouncing these kind. All right, you guys. So, I think this is it for today's makeup look. What do you all think? Well, this is it, you guys, for today's video. Thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I feel so loved and so blessed that I have so many of you, already 18 of you, watching me and subscribe to my videos, like to my channel. Like you can see, I'm following my words. I'm so excited, you guys. I, I would never imagine this would happen to me. So thank you so much for.